Empire Merchants, located in New York City, has some of the most beloved liquid assets around. Empire Merchants is the largest wine and spirit distributor in New York State, having sales in excess of $1 billion and employing more than 1,000 employees. Empire operates out of two warehouses, one in Brooklyn and the other in Astoria, Queens. The Brooklyn Warehouse is the primary distribution center, housing all 12,000 SKUs and where all of the orders are picked and loaded. This facility has been expanded to 500,000 square feet by the acquisition of all the contiguous buildings on its city block. The Astoria Warehouse, about seven miles away, is a 250,000 square foot bulk storage facility which houses the overflow inventory of the top 700 SKUs. The Astoria Warehouse replenishes the Brooklyn Warehouse daily. Over the past few years, the company recognized that in order to keep up with volume demands and higher service level expectations, the distribution system needed to be best agreed to keep pace with Empire's changing business needs. Here's how the system operates. The wave control system receives the daily shipping requirements from the host computer and creates picking waves for processing the orders. Once the production parameters are set, the picking labels are printed by each picking area. There are 16 separate pick modules. 11 modules are for full case lines picking from pallets. These modules are for high volume or faster moving items. Two modules are for full case picking from the flow rack for medium moving items. One line is for the slowest moving oddball items. And two lines are for split case picking of bottles. Here's where individual bottles orders are picked and assembled. The operators in the full case module move the cases from either pallets or from flow rack onto the conveyor line located in their module. The lower moving SKUs, referred to as oddballs, are picked from the storage racking in waves and brought to the oddball line. The operators place the barcode labels on top of the cases. Upon exiting of the pick module, the labels are scanned for verification. Here is where multi-reads, no-reads, and out-of-wave cases are stopped in the pick modules before they can become problems elsewhere in the system. Operators in the split case or bottle room module apply a barcode label on the side of the cartons to indicate the pick process. And then the bottles are picked based on instructions provided by voice picking technology. Based on projected sales velocity, items are strategically located in the bottle room with the faster moving items located on the ground level and the slower moving items on the second level are picked to mobile batch pick carts which are then staged by the quality control station. Here the quality control personnel check each carton to decide if an order is complete or not. For incomplete cartons, the operator picks the required items from the pick cart and places them into the appropriate carton to complete the order. Once a carton has been verified complete, the carton is released into the system. The split cases are then shrink wrapped in order to keep the bottles secure in transit to the customer. The cases are then transported over the conveyor system. Empty cartons generated in the bottle room are placed on an overhead monorail to be recycled or reuse or sent automatically to the trash compactor. Almost five miles of conveyor are used throughout the system, with three quarters of it being accumulation conveyor. The accumulation conveyor provides a great amount of buffer for optimal operations. From the picking areas, the cases are conveyed to one of three pre-merges. The pre-merges are used to combine the 16 conveyor streams into three lines. Photo eye sensor accumulation is utilized in all of the key merge areas to allow for maximum release efficiency, speed, and gap control. 
After the 16 pick lines had been merged onto three conveyor lines, the cases are transported and accumulated to the final high-rate combiner merge, where the three lines are merged with any recirculated cases. The combiner creates a single stream of cases, optimally gapped and ready for sortation to their assigned loading door at rates greater than 8,000 cases per hour. The cases pass through a seven-head scan tunnel that reads the barcodes, identifies the cases, and directs them to their assigned lane. The scan tunnel substantially improves the read rates and also rejects any cases with misapplied labels by checking the applied picking label against the manufacturer's barcode. A vision capture system immediately follows the scan tunnel and provides additional verification and security by photographing each carton and comparing it against the database of images for that item. A high-speed sliding shoe sorter is utilized to gently direct the cases into their appropriate after-sort lane. The few cases that are identified but for some reason cannot be sorted come off the end of the sorter and are recirculated back to the final merge for reintroduction to the sorter. The primary shipping sorter consists of 13 diverts, 12 of which are direct to the loading doors, and one divert supplies a second shipping sorter with two more diverts and a jackpot lane for processing any problem cases. At the end of each aftersort lane, the cases are automatically scanned again prior to loading into the delivery trucks for final verification and security. There are a total of 14 loading doors. Telescoping extendable loaders are utilized that reach into the trucks to facilitate loading. Two doors have been designed to accommodate large trailers and have traversing extendable loaders for additional flexibility in certain loading and delivery scenarios. A panel view podium is utilized to provide control for overall system maintenance. And large monitoring screens show operators in two key areas clear graphical and numerical snapshots of system performance. Multiple waves will be on the conveyor system at any given time throughout the night shift and they are processed sequentially and fluidly. This seamless, label-based, automated wave-picking process allows for great system productivity. The new automated system can sustain rates greater than 8,000 cases per hour during peak demand, enabling Empire to be more responsive to their customers' needs by shipping orders quicker and more accurately. The new system is far gentler on the product, as well as wide enough to handle the large gift box cases. Both system breakage and non-conveyable cases have been virtually eliminated. Good collaboration. W&H Systems and Empire Merchants working together to achieve the desired results. W&H Systems has been supplying automated distribution systems to the wine and spirits industry since 1994. With more than 30 systems successfully installed throughout the United States, they are the leading supplier and integrator of material handling equipment to this market.